Hey, how you doing? Today we're gonna do a copper lamp out of copper pipe without having to solder the fittings. Let's watch. So this is a selection of fittings that I just pulled from my copper bin. Uh, basically, I just designed this in my head. I didn't do any sketches, so I'm just kinda winging it here. Uh, I'm kinda lining up the base the three points where the feet are going to be. I didn't want to do four because four doesn't really work that well on uneven surfaces and this is going to be a book lamp and who knows where I'm going to be using it. So here I'm cutting the pieces between the joints and uh, it's all guesswork. I'm going to try to make the, the length the same as the width but it's really rough. I cut everything with a pipe cutter because it compresses the ends so they'll slip in the fittings a little easier. If you use a hacksaw, there's burrs and stuff, it's not worth doing. I mean, if that's all you got, it'll work, but you're gonna have to clean the burrs off. All right, looks like I got the base about where I want it, so I'm gonna work on the neck. And I'm just gonna try to work out the knuckle aesthetically. I kind of flipped it back and forth a couple times to see what it looked like. I think I ended up being happy with that one right there. I just used a kind of a, a upsizing fitting, kind of like just an adjustment fitting to, uh, I think it usually goes from half inch to three quarter inch and I'm just gonna use that as a shroud for the lamp. Um, I like the way it looks. This is just a USB cord and I'm just gonna cut one end off. This is the end that basically goes up it was for a printer, so it's the end that goes into the printer. And I'm keeping the standard USB that you see coming out of all the computers and power ports that you see for charging phones. And I just strung it through all the pipes in the order that they're going to go together. Now when you strip these back, there's two lines there's, uh, that you want. There's the red and the black. The green and white is usually data, from my experience at least, and the red and black are, are positive and negative respectively. I'm cutting up some blue uh, insulation. Those are like the heat shrink, basically. I slide it over the top of that wire so that when I'm done soldering it to the LED, I can cover the leads on the LED so it won't short out to the inside of the metal pipe because that, that entire pipe, entire lamp is all copper. Another important note is on LEDs, the positive leg is longer when you get them out of the bag. So when I trim them down, I always leave the positive leg a little long just to remind me. And if you know anything about LEDs, I made a mistake here. I, I, I missed uh, installing the resistor. You gotta do a little bit of math with, with LEDs. In this particular instance, I should have put about a 100 ohm resistor in there and I forgot. So I ended up having to replace that. I check it, make sure it's working. Now I just glued it into this copper pipe with hot glue. That way you can take it apart. If you ever need to, just use a heat gun and kind of just heat up that fitting and it'll and you can pull the LED out. Now this is what you do in, in lieu of soldering the pipe fittings together. I mean, you really wouldn't want to do that with the wire inside there anyway. So basically you just take a, like a center punch, not a nail set, a center punch is a harder steel and a sharp point. And you just run little divots in those fittings and it'll pinch it shut and it's, it works very well. I've made a few displays for um, craft shows for, for like jewelry uh, using this method, just connecting all the fittings together with the punch. Now we're starting to get somewhere. The neck's done, and we're going to start working on the base. You have to be really careful when you string this wire through all the fittings to make sure they're all arranged appropriately because you can end up doing all your solder work, gluing the LED in, and then you find out that you've got all these strung up and the other end has the USB fitting on it and it won't fit, meaning the pipe won't come off. So once you've strung it, it's done. So you need to make sure you do the right order so that when you assemble it correctly. I only say that because I failed on this. I didn't show you the mistake, but I had to rewire it because I, I strung the, the fittings up through that wire incorrectly.
So these are just little tapered rubber corks, basically. I use them for feet. Just, just swedge them right into the fitting. And there it is. I'm gonna turn off the light here so you can kind of see how well it works. It works great for reading a book. I tried it. You can power it off your computer. Here's a couple better shots. I'm also using this for a little human powered uh, generator and that's gonna be in another video. I've got materials and tools listed in the description and I'd love it if you subscribe to my videos. Thanks.